An eight-year-old Guatemalan migrant boy died early on Christmas Day after being detained by U.S. border agents, the U.S. Customs and Border Protection says, the second migrant child to die in U.S. detention this month. The boy and his father were in custody on Monday when a Border Patrol agent noticed the child showing signs of illness, Customs and Border Protection, CBP, said in a statement. The father and son were taken to a medical center in Alamogordo, New Mexico, where the boy was diagnosed with a common cold and fever, and eventually released by hospital staff. But later that evening, the boy began vomiting and was transferred back to the hospital. He died there early on Tuesday, CBP said, adding that the official cause of death was not known. Boy's death followed the death in early December of seven-year-old Jacqueline Call, also from Guatemala. She died after being detained along with her father by U.S. border agents in a remote part of New Mexico. After the second death, the CPB announced it was developing several policy changes. It will conduct secondary medical checks on all children in its custody, with a focus on children under 10, CNN reported. Guatemala's foreign ministry said its consul in Phoenix was seeking to interview the boy's father, to whom it pledged to give all necessary consular assistance and protection. According to the ministry, the boy and his father entered the United States via El Paso, Texas, on December 18 and were transferred to a border patrol station in Alumagordo on December 23. The Trump administration has tried to deter people from crossing the border between ports of entry illegally to seek asylum, while at the same time restricting legal access to official ports of entry. That has created a months-long wait for asylum applicants, including those who came as part of a large caravan of Central Americans this year. The Trump administration said CAAL's death showed the danger of her journey and the family's decision to cross the border illegally. That death is being investigated by the Department of Homeland Security's Inspector General, which looks into accusations of misconduct by the agency's employees, copyright AAP 2018.